we are going overseas. Okay, so for this video, me, Ben and Rachel, the three of us, we are going overseas at the same time. Ben is going to Taiwan, Rachel is going to Korea and I'm going to Thailand. So we decided to do this video of us, you know, vlogging together and piece it together in this video. So stay tuned. So now I'm over at the lounge having my breakfast because it's 5 a.m. I didn't sleep at all. So later my flight is at 7. So see you at Bangkok. Okay, so I, I'm at the airport now. So happy, no need to work anymore. So for this vlog, right, we're vlogging like part of our trips. So you'll see different days of our trip. I think it'll be very exciting. We are going overseas and this time round, I'm going on a solo trip to Taipei. Okay, I've reached Bangkok and the first thing that I want to do is to eat authentic Thai food and I'm over at this restaurant. So apparently, I think they are like under some Michelin guide. Wow! So I ordered one of their signature dish. This is the spicy curry minced pork and you can eat it like this with fresh vegetables. Me and my friend are almost done and my favourite is this. This is so good. So this is the Pai Liang Pak Kai. Okay, so I'm done with the meal and apparently the restaurant has 4.4 stars with almost 1,000 reviews. So I think for my first meal in Bangkok, definitely worth it. Oh my god, look what I saw. So cute. Okay guys, so we're gonna eat lunch, we're gonna eat like Saba fish. And then there's this restaurant right that we found like and on my previous trip, right, it's very good. So we are back here. Look at the fish. It's so big and it's only like 12,000 won. So that's like around 12 to 13 dollars SGD. Very affordable and good. Look at the fish. So tender. Oh, it's so they also have like grilled squid. But it's on the spicier side, la, but it's good. Like it's not those squid where you eat, right? But you need to chew very long. This is actually very good. Mm. I think this place right, is like a hidden gem. Usually I come here, I only see like locals. If you guys come to Korea, I must try. It's like a walkable distance on the MRT. Okay, so I just reached my hotel room and look at the view. It's so nice. And look at this. Oh my god, oh. this is super cute. Oh my god. So I finally washed up and now I'm going somewhere, guess where? I'm going to Taipei Xiao Ju Tan to watch a concert. And it's my first time going to Taipei Xiao Ju Tan to watch a concert. So I'm really excited. And you can see the girl's so and the ticket is here. The concert starts at 6 p.m. And now it's already like 5.20. So I'm going to go there now. Okay, so I'm here at Taipei Xiao Ju Tan and there's like a lot of people. Oh my god, I'm really excited to watch the concert. Okay, so this is the place where they sell the merch and a lot of people, they are buying. Okay, so I wanted to buy the light stick, but it's like sold out already. Oh my god, sold out. Okay, so my friends, they are all late. And I think I'm gonna go in first because I don't want to miss the concert. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, so it's after the concert and now I'm having sambal with my friend. Whoa, look at the food. It looks very good. Okay, so now I'm back to my hotel and just now I had Thai food for dinner again. And anyway, take a look at my hotel. So there's like the sleeping area and the living area. So if you guys want to know more about my hotel, right, I'll be actually doing a separate video. So there will be a hotel tour. And you know, just now when I was having my dinner, Ben texted me because he's watching Cindy's concert, right? And you know who is the special guest? Jessica Jung. Oh my god. He get to see Jessica in person, eh? Okay, guys, so this is a new day and we are heading to Hongdae to do some shopping. So, guys, you guys should know, right? Hongdae is like famous that everyone goes to for shopping. We saw our day a bit later because, like, tired. And we drank a bit of soju last night. Oh, okay, and this is like perfume place that actually, right, they let you customize your own perfume. This perfume place is like located at Hongdae. 
and like basically you can like customize your scent you choose two scents and then they mix it together for you so let's go check it out look at the number of perfume scents that you can choose these are diffusers and these are perfumes apparently you can like customize your bottles you can put like words it's pretty cool okay so today i came over to central world Tong Smith to eat their boat noodles Thank you. This smells so good. So I ordered the beef one. I also ordered fried wonton. My mom and Ben loves to eat this, so they will always come back here whenever they come back to Bangkok. Okay, so it's lunchtime, and I'm having beef noodles from this store. So they have like 4.4 stars with close to 2,000 reviews, and I'm sure it's good. So let's try it. So I've tried the beef noodles already, and I must say, right, it's really good. Eh? If you guys around this area right y'all can come and try because the noodle is super cute and the beef is also very very tender you know i've tried so many beef noodles in taipei and i think this might be one of the best one that i've tried so far and i just want to say the weather here in taipei is super hot i'm sweating as you can see i think later i'm just gonna go get bubble tea or something Welcome. thank you this our perfume is done and like there's a very nice photo spot here so i think the 50ml is like 44,000 and the 100ml is like 66,000 so i think it's pretty affordable okay so i got my perfume yeah and today's weather right is actually very nice like i can wear like a sweater and it still feels cooling like the first day when i came right it was so hot oh my god and look at this bagel shop that i just walked past like a bagel cafe so cute it's after lunch now and I got bubble tea So this trip right, I didn't plan any itinerary as usual So I'm just like taking it chill and I'm just like walking around the neighbourhood I don't even know where am I at right now And I think this is a residential area and it's really chill, very quiet I'm now going to find a cafe to sit down and chill And you know for my solo trip right, it's always super chill and I will just noir all the way So you know being super chill during holidays just my vibe because I don't want to tire myself out. Holiday is for you to rest, not for you to chong. Okay, guys, remember that. Okay, so I found this cafe and I'm gonna go in and chill. The vibe here is quite nice, and I'm just gonna chill here with this view. So, this is why I ordered cinnamon bun and also fruit tea. Now we're Hongdae Street, like the famous street everyone goes to. Okay, now I've been brand new shopping because Ben recommended me his brand. He said it's good. So I'm here. Apparently, we went into the shop but it was like nothing because I think they are changing season to like winter. But of course, they're all thick. I cannot buy that in Singapore. So the sky is like getting dark. So I'll probably shopping until we get like dinner. Let's go see what to eat. <laughs> I'm here for my dinner. I'm seated outdoors and take a look at the view. It's night time and the view is amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to the rooftop bar at level 5. So just now we, we were at level 1. Amazing. And I wonder what Ben and Rachel is doing. Good morning, it's my third day in Taipei, and this morning, right, I'm having Fu Hang Tojiang for breakfast. Apparently, they are very famous and you have to queue like as long as two hours for them. And I ordered quite a few food, so I'm gonna try all of them. I just want to say the soy milk is so good. It's with sugar already, but it's not sweet. And the Xian Dou Jiang right is so good as well. You all have to try. It's another day of walking around and not doing anything. And now I'm having my super late lunch. It's like 5 p.m. Wow, it looks good. Okay, time for a massage. You know, coming to Bangkok, you must go for massage. And I'm over at Infinity Wellbeing. I actually wanted to try another massage place wood green spa ben recommended it but you know it's fully booked so now i'm here 
gonna do a quick Maddie and Teddy before my massage. Okay, so it's time for massage and you know I've actually been here about two times and you know their ratings is like 4.9 stars. So okay, time for massage. See you later. Okay, so now I'm at Huashan Creative Park. It's just beside my hotel and just now I had ramen and it was pretty good. So now I'm just gonna explore this area. Okay, I think they have a lot of like different expo or exhibition going on here. And this is my first time here. It's really quite nice. But the weather is really too hot. So, yeah. Okay, so basically they have like a lot of pop-up stalls, exhibition here. And I wanted to take some photos, but the weather is crazy hot. So, I think maybe next time. I'm now going to check into my another hotel and leaving this uh, Huashan area. Okay, so I'm done with my massage and it's really a very good experience. So just now I did a medicure and pedicure, the one hour aroma signature massage. So total is about 3,000 Thai baht. In Singapore, it's around 112 Sing dollars. So to be honest, I really love the experience there. Like the staff, they are very warm and welcoming and the massage pressure is firm, which I really like. So I think I'll be back. So now I'm over at Siam Centre and I'm gonna go Siam Paragon to have my lunch and also walk around. I'm now gonna try the very famous Tip Samai but this one is located inside the shopping mall. I tried the one over at their flagship store many years ago so I'm very excited to eat it again. Oh wow! So they are very famous for like the Pad Thai inside the egg. Time to eat! We also put different condiments like peanuts, chili flakes, and more. This is 169 baht, and look at the prawn. It also comes with a side of salad. Now over at Siam Center, and I'm gonna try this bubble tea shop called Nose Tea because take a look at the queue. There's a lot of people. Mm. It's actually not bad. I don't know why the rating is only three stars. There's a lot of lychee flesh inside. Okay, so I just checked in another hotel at Si Menting and it's so spacious. There's a sofa area here and look at the bed. It's super huge. This is like super king size. Wow, look at all this. This is so cute. Okay, so today I guess I'll be exploring Si Menting area. And you know on Instagram, I also asked you guys to recommend me some food places to check it out. And a lot of y'all recommended me some of the food spots at Si Menting. So, I'll go check them out today. Anyway, I just want to say the weather is really crazy the past few days. I feel like it's even hotter than Singapore, honestly. So I'm gonna chill for a bit then I'll go out already. Okay guys, I'm back to my hotel and just now I went to Kao. It's a one Michelin star restaurant and I didn't really take much video there because you know, I'm busy eating but I ordered quite a few dishes like the crab omelette, prawns, some appetizers, cocktail and also mango sticky rice dessert. And the total cost is about 3,000 Thai baht. I feel that it's pretty worth it. And the environment is really beautiful. And after the dinner, I actually went over to Tijuka rooftop bar, but it's actually closed because of the bad weather. It was raining very heavily just now. So it's such a pity because today is my last night and I'm flying back to Singapore tomorrow. Okay, so now I'm over at this place, which is recommended by one of you guys. And I'm having their pork chop rice. Oh my god, I look at the pork chop. It looks really good. And there's like rice and soup. I just want to say thank you for the recommendation because the fried pork chop rice is so good. It's like very juicy, tender, not oily, crispy, and fried to perfection. I'm so happy, so I think I'm just gonna go to all the places that you guys recommend me for the next two days. Because you know what? Sharing is caring. You all share with me, right? And I want to share with everybody so all of us can eat good food together. It's my last day over at Bangkok and I ordered grab food. So this is Pet Mart. And apparently, this is very famous on TikTok and Xiao Hong Su. So it's the Thai basil rice with duck egg. Let's take a look at what's inside. So I ordered pork basil. Ooh. And you know just now when I tear open, the yolk just flows out. Looks really yummy. Look at this. Spicy and delicious. Really spicy and they still gave like such a huge piece of chili. Delicious. 
So I got their signature. This has pecans on top and cinnamon roll. Hot mocha. I'm trying the cinnamon roll because the Google reviews, right? Everybody say the cinnamon roll is very nice. This is really good. It's very soft, fluffy, and not too sweet. I really like the interior and the exterior of this place. The exterior looks a bit like European style. And you know, we have to come early because it's actually very little sitting space. Indoor, there's only like two tables. Outdoors, got like four tables only. Okay, so I took a nap until now and I went to order food. This is their liang mian, so cold noodles and I ordered the vegetables and also the soup. Oh, it looks really good this one. Okay, I'm now at Tian Tian Le and I'm having their rulo fan and also this Tian. I also ordered fried carrot cake but it's not here yet. And this place right, is highly recommended by you guys. So yeah, let's try it. Okay, so it's my last night here in Taipei and now I'm doing some shopping, buying snacks for Miss Hippo to try for her video. So she'll be trying like special Taiwan snacks. See, I got a basket full of snacks. Okay, so before I end my Bangkok trip, I actually got food poisoning and I vomited on the way to the airport. So that's why there's no proper ending for my Bangkok vlog. So that's all for my Taiwan solo trip. So I hope you guys like it. And in case they didn't do ending, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to us and click on the notification bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, TikTok and Telegram group. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!